something. Amen. We plant our seeds and we water them, but you never know when that seed is going to sprout. Amen. Amen. Recently, I have been in the position of doing something that I love. Come on. Thank you, Lord. I have always loved to cook. Okay. Amen. It is just something that I've always loved to do. Amen. It's not something that I've always had an opportunity to do, though. You know? Um, and as I've gotten older, I've just kind of let it kind of go, you know? Because, you know, I was doing other things. God has opened a door to make a way that for the last two weeks, I have been cooking almost every day okay. for a pain. Amen. I have been a prep cook. I have been a line cook. What? I have worked in Calabasas Come on. Um, Come on. at a ranch. Come on. Come on. I have worked um, in Hollywood. Come on. I have an opportunity to cook for the Oscars. Come on. Um, Come on.
because you first loved us. You loved us when we didn't even love ourselves. You still love us. You've proven your love by giving us your life that we might have life and have it more abundantly. We thank you for your grace and your mercy that are renewed every morning. We thank you. Father, if there's anything in our lives that you're not pleased with, we ask that you bring illumination to our mind. Reveal anything, Lord, that will hinder us. And Father, we thank you for the ability to renounce everything that's not of you. It's in our lives. In Jesus, mighty name. Father, create in us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us. And we thank you right now. And let all that agree say amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Are you ready for the word this morning? Amen. Oh, if you're ready for the word, we in for a treat this morning. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I have the privilege of announcing a brand new kingdom. Hallelujah. Brand new kingdom. We have a brand new kingdom called the Norm Hill Kingdom. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Huh? Hill in the house, y'all. Mr. and Mrs. Norm Hill in the house. Hallelujah, Lord. Congratulations. He who findeth the wife, findeth what? The good thing. And obtaineth what? Favor of the Lord. Oh, look out. Look out, God. Be your favor coming. Amen. 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 And it's so good to see everybody. Amen. And, and, and precious. Look at precious. Come on. She's just growing and smiling and just looking more beautiful every time we see it. God bless you, dear. God, that's Crystal. That's Crystal's friend. Her fruit. Her assistant, huh? Man, tell me we not growing around here. Huh? Amen. Amen. You all ready for the word? Yes, sir. All right. We're we going to get right into it. Amen. And, and it's kind of connecting with the offering, man. I tell you, we so amazing. We Amen. so want to cord around here. Amen. Oh, glory to God. I hope you all take that off. Amen. We need to put that on. Amen. Amen. All right. In the media department doing a wonderful oh, job. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, they say they got it. Oh, yeah. They on, man. But we got such beautiful people. Such beautiful people here. Now, we're going to pick up right where we left off last week, last Sunday. We were at um, Matthew, yes, sir. the 10th chapter, right? Yes, sir. That's where we left off over at Matthew. And it reads in the 10th chapter, the 41st verse reads like this. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. Amen? Amen. And it didn't stop there. We found out that that verse goes on. And it said, and he that receiveth a righteous man. How many righteous men and women in the house? Amen. Any righteous people in the house today? Now, y'all, yeah, you know we righteous, right? In right standing with God. Amen. He that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones, new disciples, people of lower rank even, shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water, only in the name of a disciple. Verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Hallelujah. And we determined that the reward of a prophet, a righteous man, or a little one, 
Amen. Amen. Is what's on their life will be on your life. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And what we're going to do this morning, we're going to look at two women. Two women this morning that received the prophet. Yes, sir. Amen. Remember, we discovered what receiving the prophet is. Yes, sir. Somebody tell me, what, what is receiving the prophet? How do you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet? Somebody tell me. Take care of his ministry. Take care of his ministry. Amen. How do you receive a righteous man? Help him. Take care of their ministry. Amen. How do you how do you receive a little one? Take Amen. care of their ministry. Amen. Why? Because we all have a ministry. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. We all have a ministry. Amen. You understand? If he be Christ, if you belong to Christ. You have the ministry. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Now we're going to look at two women this morning that took care of the prophet's ministry. Let's look at kings. You know I love the book of kings because we all kings Amen. and queens around here, right? Amen. Kings, the second kings, the fourth chapter. That's where we're going to start. And we're going to do a little reading this morning because I love the word. Amen. Amen. I hope I'm in around some people that love the word as Hallelujah. well, right? Amen. Hallelujah. Second Kings, the fourth chapter. Talk about two women here. It says, Now there was a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets came unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. This woman's husband died. He was one of the sons of the prophets. He was in the school of prophets. Mm -hmm. He served. And she said, thy hu My husband is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. Amen. Trust the Lord. Commit Come to on. the Lord. Yeah. Delighted in the yes, Lord. Sir, Amen. 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 And he says, And the creditor is come to take away my son. She fell behind because see life goes on. Amen. The husband died and now she doesn't have the resources to pay her bills. So what happened, the creditors came to take her sons as payment for her debt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And make them bond service. Yes, sir. Until this debt was paid. And Elisha, second verse, said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? Here it is, a woman's getting ready to lose her son. Yes, sir. She goes to the prophet, explains the situation, and he asks her, What do you have in your house? She goes on to tell him that I have just a little oil. We broke. We're poor. All I have is a little oil. That's all I have. A little oil. So the man of God, because her husband served the Lord, yes, sir. delighted in the Lord, yes, sir. committed his ways unto the Lord, he said, I tell you what, lock yourself in the house. Have your sons go and borrow vessels from your neighbors. And not just a few. He said, bring the vessels in. Take that little oil that you have, all that you have, and pour it in the vessel. Pour it in the vessel. Come on. How many of y'all, when you fry your, Come on. Your, um, your, your chicken for the first time, you save the oil? Come on. They got that seasoning. Yeah. Huh? You save the little oil, right? Yeah. So you may have a little Crisco can or something. Huh? <laughs> y'all remember that little Crisco can? Yeah. Oh, right? You save a little oil left. And that's all she had left. So the sons went out, borrowed vessels from the neighbors, lined them up. She took that little can, 
poured it in the vest, filled up that vest. Poured it in the vest, filled up that vest. Poured it in the vest, filled. This is the same little king. Come on. Huh? Come on. Poured it in the vest. Huh? She kept pouring oil until the vessels ran out. Yes, sir. So, so that means that whatever capacity you believe God for. See, 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 look here, look here. Mother, I, I've been pastoring going on 20 years, been serving like 15 before that. Seen a lot. Preachers will tell people something like that. Some people go get one vessel. Because, uh oh, wait a minute. It's Saturday. Oh, Lord, Pastor told us Tuesday to go get vessels. I better get a vessel because I know he can have vessels. So they go get a vessel. Amen. So if my pastor say, how many of y'all got vessels? I can raise my hand. Amen. And that's all you got. Amen. One vessel full. <laughs> huh? Speak, Pastor. You see, some people would have said, oh, I'm going to go get some vessels, Doc. I'm going to have so many vessels in this house. Because the more you position yourself, yes. Amen. the more he'll pour out. Yes, sir. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yes, sir. See, it's according. Some people got one vessel of faith. Some people got 50 vessels of faith. Some people going to go borrow some and going to go order some more if I, until I get. Yes, sir. Uh, see, because there's different levels to this thing, and it's according to thy faith be it unto thee. So she filled up all the vessels. Paid off the debtors, Come on, kept her sons, and lived on the rest. Yes, sir. Because, see, God knows how to bless you. Yes, sir. You see? Yes, sir. So here, here there was a poor woman. Yes, Come on, Pastor. Huh? That, that believed God because she knew that her family had helped the prophet. Yes, sir. So she had that company. Now, that's a poor woman didn't have nothing. Now, let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. And we'll go the seventh verse. It says, then she came and told a man of God. And he said, now go and sell the oil, pay your debt, and live thou and thy children on the rest. Uh, see, one word. It's all it'll take. Now, now here it is. Eighth verse. And it fell on the day that Elisha passed to Shuman, where was a great woman. See, the first one was poor. Now here's a wealthy woman. This woman got her family living all around. She got estates and things, got servants. Contract, poor and rich. Where was a great woman, and she constrained him to eat bread. And so it was that as often as he passed by, he turned in tither to eat bread. So here it is, this woman, great wealthy woman, got an estate. You understand? Her, 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 her estate is walled. Come on, Pastor. She's taking care of her people. And she sees a man of God. She said, I see this man of God passing through quite often. Let's feed him. So the man of God came in and got fed. Ninth verse says, and she said unto her husband, behold now, I perceive that this is a holy man of God which passeth by us continually. The little chamber, I pray thee, on the wall, let's build him a room on the wall. Huh? And let us set for him there a bed and a table and a stool and a candlestick, and it shall be that when he cometh to us, that he shall turn into the... She wanted... To take care of the man of God. Yes, sir. And it came, and it fell on a day that when he came thither, he turned into the chamber and lay there. 
And she said, and he said to Gehazi, his servant, now the man of God is telling his servant, go get this Shunammite woman. Ask her, what does she need? 13th verse, and he said unto him, now say unto her, behold, be careful for us, that thou hast been careful for us with all this care, and what can we do for thee? What does thou want us to speak to the king? The man of God is saying, I could talk to the king on your behalf. She said, I don't need that. I'm straight. Or to the captain of the host. She said, I dwell among my own people. I take care of them. Yes, sir. They take care of me. I'm straight. Amen. I don't need you to talk to the king, the host, nobody. I'm good. And he said, what then is to be done for her? See, a real man of God not going to just let you outdo him. Come he he, he going to try to, huh? On, when, when, when you bless a real one, he going to try to figure out how he going to bless you, and he's not going to be at rest until he can. Come on, man. Amen. And Gehazi answered, Verily she hath no child, and her husband is old. He told her that she would have a child. Amen. She said in the 16th verse, Nay, my Lord, Thou man of God, do not lie that I am handmaiden. You don't know how long I've been trying to have a child. And now you're going to tell me I'm getting ready to have a child and all that. And he told her that it's going to happen. Amen. A year from now, that's going to happen. And when the child was grown, Come on, the child was born, the child was old enough to go to work, that he went out to his father's field to the reapers. But he said to my to his father, Father, my head, my head, the boy had a sunstroke. It was too hot for him out there. They told him to take, he told him, take, told the servant, take the boy to his mother and put him on his mother's lap. And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat her on his knees. He sat on his knee until noon, and then he died. She went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God and shut the door upon him and went out. She called to her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the asses, that I may run to the man of God and come back again. And he said, why are you going to the man of God today? It's not the new moon or Sunday morning. And she said, it shall be well. Amen. 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 Notice she didn't say, our son is dead. She didn't say any of that. All she said was, it shall be well. Amen. Amen. Then she sat on the ass and said to the servant, Drive, go forward, slack not the rod unless I tell you to. Get on this horse and let's get going. Don't slow down unless I tell you to. And she went and came unto the man of God at Mark Carmel. And it came to pass that when the man of God saw her afar off, he said to his servant Gehazi, Behold, yonder is that Shunammite woman. Run now, I pray thee to meet her. And say unto her, Is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? And is it well with thy child? She answered the man of God's servant, It is well. Amen. Now this woman's son is dead. <coughs> she done rolled to the man of God. He's asking her, the servant, about the situation. She tells the servant, It's well. Amen. It is well. Isn't that what she told him on the 26th verse? She didn't come crying to the servant. And when she came to the man of God up the hill, she caught him by the feet, fell to his feet. The servant, Gehazi, came to her to try to throw her off of him. He said, let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her, and the Lord has hid it from me and hath not told me. Then she said, did I desire a son of my Lord? Did I not say, don't deceive me? Amen. Then he said to Gehazi, gird up thy loins and take my staff in thine hand and go thy way. And if thou meet any man, don't even say hi. Mm. Don't, 
Don't even salute. Keep going. And take my staff and lay it upon the child's face. And the mother of the child said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And he arose and followed her. And Gehazi passed before them and put the staff on the child's face, but there was neither voice nor hearing. Wherefore he went to meet him and told the man of God, the child is not awake. And when Elisha came into the house, behold, the child was dead and laid upon his bed. And he went therefore and shut the door upon the two of them and he prayed unto the Lord and he went up and laid on the child, put his mouth on the child's mouth, his eyes on the child's eyes and his hands on the, upon his hands and he stretched himself upon the child and the flesh of the child waxed warm. Amen. Then he returned and walked into the house to and fro and went up and stretched himself upon the child again and the child sneezed seven times and the child opened his eyes. He called Gehazi and said, Call the shooter, my woman. So he called her, and when she was coming to the house, he said, Take up thy son. Amen. Take up thy Hallelujah. son. Hallelujah. We have several situations here. Number one, when something comes upon you, telling everybody ain't the best thing to do. Come on, Pastor! Telling folks that can't do nothing for you is the wrong thing to do. That's why he, she said it is well to the husband because you may not understand it. Yes, sir. It is well to the servant because you don't, may not understand this. But when I get to the man of God, Come on. I'm not even going to tell him. But Come on. Pastor. See, see. Yes, sir. Worship. Fell to his feet. Worshipped him. Because whenever you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, you receive the prophet's reward. What kind of reward that what he says in your life will come to pass? Amen. No matter how dead your situation may look. Amen. Oh, it may look dead to everybody else around. It may look dead to the servant out in the field. It may look dead Amen. to the man that brought the child in. The situation may look dead. But if you talk to the wrong person, it may stay dead. Mm. But if we could keep our mouth shut and trust and delight in the Lord, you understand? Commit thy ways unto the Lord. There's no situation in life that he can't resurrect. I mean, he's in the resurrection business. Amen? Because if he hadn't resurrected, we wouldn't be here. If he hadn't got up, because see, we serve a God that got up out the grave. There's a whole bunch of other gods, but they still in the grave. See, our God got up out the grave with all power in his hand, and he said, when you take care of my man of God, or my woman of God, you got a blessing on you. It's not just the prophet. It's for the righteous man. It's not just the prophet, but it's for the little ones. Everybody that God put himself in you, he's going to take care. See, but you have to believe. Amen. You can't go around saying the wrong things. See, if you want capacity, you got to believe God. You see, you got to go get them vessels. You can't just get one unless you just want one. Unless you want just enough oil to cook one more fried chicken dinner. But if you want to sustain yourself for the rest of your life, come on, talk to me. If you want to sustain yourself for life and live off the rest and go around cooking for huh? Wolfgang Puck, huh? I go around cooking and just enjoy in the marinas and things. You want to live on the high places. Enjoy life to the abundance. Come on. See, we ain't playing church around yes, here. Yes, Every time you come in here, you're going to hear some testimonies. Yes, huh? Come on, man. The woman told you last Sunday that because she gives, because she takes care of the prophecy, because she takes care of the vision, because she takes what God gave us, look what God did for her mother. Now, how many of y'all went and told somebody about that? 
Amen. How many of y'all went and told somebody that God healed somebody from cancer and there's no trace and the doctor said that it's the lowest he's ever seen in his whole 20 years? How many of y'all really told that? You see? Hallelujah, Lord. <laughs> yeah, see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, Amen. Jesus is the same yesterday, yes, sir. today, and forever. But it's, uh, you see, we get so many blessings. We so fat, dog. We, we, we like the children of Israel that wanted meat. God gave them manna from heaven. He brought them something that they ain't never had before. But they wanted to be like the other folk. They wanted meat. So he gave them so much meat that it came out there. It was running out the nose. There was just meat everywhere. They could, you understand? Yeah. 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 I love it. Thank you. <laughs> See, we want to do it the other way. Yeah. Well, God wants to bless you so much yes, Lord. that everybody around you gets blessed. Yeah. Yes, sir. Come on. And it ain't about what you have or what you don't have. Amen. All it's about is what you believe. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 If you believe God is big enough to take care of you, then he's big enough. Amen. Uh -huh. And if you think you're big enough and you don't need God, then you're big enough. And we'll Amen. see how that works out. Amen. 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 Tell the truth. Amen. Mm. That's good. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, but see, we have to realize that God wants to bless us. Amen. And when we get rid of all this religion and all that crap, Amen. and realize that we are kingdom yes. citizens, yes. and we live in the kingdom of God, Amen. and we're supposed to be preaching the kingdom. Amen. Are we going to get this? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to beat this in you till you get it. You're going to realize that you are kings and queens on this earth, and you deserve whatever God wants you to have. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Straight up. Thank you, Lord. You see, that's what's wrong with our people. Yes, sir. We've been duped yeah. to think we're not supposed to have. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I'm We're not supposed to trust each other. Yeah. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's all about me, mine. Amen. We got to get out of that. Yes, sir. Yes, true. Yes. You see? We live in the kingdom yes. of God. Yes. And it's his in his kingdom, he delights yes. to give you the kingdom. Yes. 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 Thank you. Come on, man. Thank what is the kingdom, Pastor? That's when your household is run and sustained by God. Yes. Whether you the head or your husband's the head, it doesn't matter. It's your kingdom. Yes. Queen of Sheba, I don't think she had her. It wasn't mentioned, but she was the queen. Come on, Pastor. And once we realize that we're not low down, dirty, wretched, we're not worms, but we're children of the Most High God, and He wants to bless us beyond anything that we could hope, think. Or imagine. Yes, sir, he wants to blow your mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And he's on his way doing it right now. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. God is going to bless you so. In the next few Thank weeks, he's going to blow your mind. Yes, you're going to come in here with a test. Hallelujah, Lord. Shout about what God has done, just done for you. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. See, but we have to understand that. Delight thyself in the Lord. Commit thy ways yes, unto Him. Amen. Trust Him. Oh, yes. We'll trust everything else. Oh, yeah. 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 We'll go play the lotto religious mm. Run to Vegas. Just trust in everything and everybody else. Amen. Somebody mm. come and tell you they could do something, take 24 million out of the church. Mm. We'll try any and everything else but God. But God wants to bless you. That's all I can yes, tell sir. you. Yes, sir. And he gave you two examples. Doesn't matter how much you have, he still could bless you. Yes, sir. No matter how much you don't have, he still could bless you. But all we have to do is trust you and believe you. Amen. All right, all right. Well, God bless you. We 
we're going to stop right here because we're getting ready to take care of some business. Hallelujah, man. I want to know how many of y'all really trust God. Thank you, God. We, got, we got a birthday coming up. Thank you, God. You understand? We have a birthday coming up, right? Amen. Uh, and I'm going to see how we're going to treat our birthday boy. Hallelujah, Lord. You know who our birthday yes, boy is? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Let's see how we're gonna treat him. Let's go out of this year with something for him. Yes, sir. Amen. You see, we see if we celebrate the birthday boy, the merchant shouldn't get all his stuff. Hallelujah. We, we should make sure we take care of him first. Amen. 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 So I'm gonna ask some people who gonna stand with me to close this year out with a bang. Hallelujah. I'm gonna tell you how much to give. I ain't tell you how much I'm giving. But if you want something special from the Lord today. And I thank God to my internet audience, I'm talking to you all right now, that support the ministry and watch me. Whatever I preach that falls on you, you will fall. So God got to really give you a good blessing. Thank Keep you. on doing what you're doing. You, Keep on blessing the ministry. We appreciate your giving. We appreciate your push pay. We appreciate your encouraging words, your text messages and stuff Hallelujah. that you send to keep me encouraged. God bless you. Keep up the great work. Amen. 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 But I need some folks that's going to stand with yes, us sir. today. Amen. And do something special. Show God that you trust him as we end this year going into our next year on a high note. Let's give God the glory. Let's Hallelujah. give God the praise. Let's yes. worship the Lord. Amen. Let's seek him. Let's show him today that we trust him. Amen. 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 Let's do something special for his birthday. That's what we're supposed to be celebrating this season, right? Yeah. Amen. You're going to come. You, he going to have a party and we're not going to come. Huh? We're going to give Jesus a party and don't show up? Or we're going to show up and don't give him a gift? Let's give the Lord a gift this morning. Yes, sir. Amen. There you go, Mike. I'm going to give him a gift. Let's yes, give him a gift this morning. Yes, Amen. Let's stretch ourselves. Let's trust God. Let's go get the vessels this yes. morning. Yes. Amen. Let's go get some vessels. How many want to get some vessels in the house this morning? Amen. Amen.